This figure was available at the U.S. Premium Bandai site. Don't miss out on exclusive Dragon Ball figure arts and make sure you pre-order today. Dragon Ball Horror Kaiju and more. Steven Story Reviews. Hey there, Collector Steven here with another Dragon Ball unboxing. And today we're going to be taking a look at the... <gasps> Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Son, Goku Kaioken Event Exclusive Color Edition. <sighs> okay, Whew. mouthful. So basically, Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken from... Uh, several times throughout Dragon Ball Super, so that's pretty neat. Uh, this was an event exclusive color edition. I forget specifically when. I think it was for New York Comic Con or what was meant to be New York Comic Con last year. And then they opened up a pre-order window, and uh, guess what? Folks now have the chance to uh, own this guy. So if you were looking to get this, it is now officially out uh, for those in a second wave. And we're going to be taking a look to see whether or not it's actually a second wave because Bandai has a specific way of noting whether or not it is a first production run or a second production run or a third, fourth, fifth, so on and so forth. So we'll be taking a close look at that. And as always, the U.S. Premium Bandai site is going to be a pretty much the only way you're going to get the P Bandai releases now. So if you are thinking about picking up anything when the order window is open, check out the link in the description. Uh, they unfortunately are affected by the ongoing shipping issues due to the uh, situation in the world right now. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Uh, so if you do want to pay more and get stuff from Japan, hey, you can do that. You can use middleman sites because no retailer in Japan is actually getting them. But if you do want to get them from an official U.S. source, you're going to have to go through the U.S. Premium Bandai. Enough of that. Kaioken Goku here. So for the front of the box, we have a nice look in at the figure, and I do have to say, overall, I am pleased with this box design. We have black for the base, we have red, and we have blue. Overall, I have to say, this looks really cool. And uh, if it wasn't in the brown box, then, uh, <laughs> I mean, if, if it was on the shelf, I'd pretty much pick it up right away. The back of the box is going to just have some promotional pictures of Goku doing his thing. Yep, blue and metallic red looks very nice. Top and bottom, the sides of the box are just basically going to be uh, filler because, I mean, let's be honest here, unless you're looking at it stored on the uh, stored, stored in the closet or, or in another storage box, uh, you're really going to see these sides. No, not really. Okay, so let's go ahead and switch on over to the main camera. And thanks to the power of editing here, let me just make sure I am focused in correctly. Okay, and we are good. He's still sealed. So, uh, we have a slight issue that I've seen with some folks getting this guy in. Um, he's had some issues with a neck peg breaking. So, I do want to get mine looked at ASAP. This is what I always love about unboxing P Bondi stuff. Uh, it's always a struggle getting them out of the box. Well, sometimes it's a struggle. Oh, and remember, this is just an unboxing, and there is that beautiful, beautiful box. Um, <clears throat> anyway, yes. Here he is. Oh, He looks great. And remember, the brown box is not the product box. It is meant to be discarded. But there's something about us in the U.S. loving them. Distributed by... Bluefin. Bluefin. They're no longer Bluefin. There we go. All right. So normally I like to open it up on the side without the window, but there is no window here. So eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch a saying by the toe. If he hollers, let him go. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. All right. The side with the promo shot. Boop. Very cool. All right. So Goku's going to have a whole bunch of stuff here because... Oh. All right. So instructions. Uh, Goku comes with an effect part, which is great. All right, so instructions are being a little stinky. Face assembly, all the alternate face plates we've pretty much seen, hand parts we know and love, or do we love. Aura effect is going to be Kaioken Blue themed. I'm calling it Kaioken Blue. I don't care. Here's something that I'm pretty much interested in and need to know right away. All of my... Official, aha, uh -huh, there we go. Official Bandai product uh, for the aura effects are sticky. This one is not. So, <clears throat> Piccolo, the new superhero Piccolo. Here's a lesson for you, folks. You will notice here we have four dots. 
north, south, east, west, cardinal directions, right? That signifies, oops, signifies first production run. On the aura effect, north is missing. We will have south, east, and west. This signifies that this is in fact a reissue and they went back to the factory to do another production run. So this does not mean that they had a bunch of them that were shipped over exclusively for, um, I think, like I said, it was NYCC or the event equivalent that they had. I forget what it was. It was so long ago. Um, yes, they went back and they did another production run of this guy. So here he is. Um, everything that we have here is basically the same. He's just a repaint. So taking a look at the faces, the quality control looks to be rather consistent. Um, and this is not a review. This is just an unboxing. So we'll get a closer look at him in the review, which I do want to get to sooner rather than later. Um, there's just a lot to review at this time. So we'll put Goku right here for right now. But we will uh, we'll just take a quick look at the faces just so this way you get an idea of what they look like. Smirking face, which is probably my favorite of uh, this body style. Angry, teeth gritting, and then yelling. Smells a little funky, but that's okay. He's Goku. All right, so we do have protective plastic, which is easy to remove because we do have little pull tabs. But I just like to gorilla grip it at one point and just pull it. So yeah, I have seen some interesting quality control issues, like somebody had one where the hair wasn't glued on properly. Um, let's just go ahead and remove the front hair piece. I do want to take a look at that neck peg. So it's hard to really show in my setup, uh, but the hinge that allows the hair to, well, the head to move forward and back was actually positioned at an angle. So if it were to be positioned this way now correctly, right, it was actually positioned like this. But for some reason, as you kind of saw me demonstrating earlier, it still had enough give to move forward. So I don't quite know what's going on there. Uh, pretty odd. Pretty odd if you ask me. So I can definitely say that it seems like it's a bit more, not pliable, but bendy quality to it. I don't know. So I, I definitely see how some people could unfortunately um, break that neck peg. See how easy it is? And that's not the ball joint. Hmm. I don't know. Going to have to play with it a bit more. Um, yeah, I mean, it's the same Goku body style that we know. Some love, some don't. Uh, rather loose on the shoulder, ball joints there. Raise and lower his arms. Some have reported inconsistent pearlescent paint on the torso, but mine looks rather fine. Um, do have a couple of marks here and there. I'm only judging it super close just because of... Okay. There we go. All right. Hips, do they move fine? Yes, they do. crack a lacking. All right. Well, Goku, as far as I'm concerned, is good to go. Not even going to be professional with this one, uh, just as a quick addendum. Uh, well, that kind of uh, spoiled it. Um, I went to go turn Goku at the App Crunch, uh, just a little bit like this, and he uh, popped off. Not in a good way either. Uh, it looks like where the issue came about is, um, where is that going to be at? It looks like there was a tab that's up here um, that broke. Let me get him a little farther away. And you can kind of sort of see that that's where the tab is supposed to be. And it looks like it broke off in the slot there. So I will be in contact with Premium Bandai, and uh, I'll let you know in the pinned comment uh, what the outcome is. It's very late on a Saturday night into Sunday morning, so we shall see. Okay, and now for another edit using different audio equipment, because I'm not going to get my fancy studio mic. I am laying comfortably on my back, and I am covered up and nice and cozy. Um, I got a response from Premium Bandai. They linked me to another division of Bandai, Bandai Namco Collectibles, which used to be Bluefin, and they approved for a replacement. So I uh, will keep you updated on what the outcome of this is, but basically they're going to assist me. Yay! So take it away, older, older Steven. 
Yeah. So, review. Uh, it will be up relatively soon. I've got a ton of Tournament of Power stuff to get through. I've got a ton of this, that, and the other Dragon Ball stuff to get through. So, please sit tight. Uh, review will happen. Um, I do really, really like this figure, and I want to get it up as soon as possible. But it's just a matter of when I'll be able to, because I want to be able to make sure I'm able to do it justice. Okay, folks? All right. I really do appreciate it. I really do. Make sure you subscribe so this way you know when the review goes up. And most importantly... Thank you to the patrons who have supported this last month. Here is your end card. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And as always, you do have your Discord roles. Yes, I do have a Discord. Anyway, with that being said, everyone, thank you so much for watching. Here's the end card, so this way you can check out some other videos. Huh, interesting paint gradient I just noticed on the thigh. But anyway, yeah, check out some other videos while I'm working on my reviews. And with that being said, I'll catch you in the next video.